Ever wanted to tame a rabbit? Loot a big nether pyramid? Shoot with some elemental arrows from Zelda? Or just use snow as a weapon to explode your enemies? Then welcome to today's video. I hope you guys, I'm York Mouse, and today I've got the second part of top 50 mods for you. 1.16.4 Forge only. 26. Today we start off with an awesome mod made by Blue Dark YouTube, the one who also did Jellyfish mod. But now we look at Mystical and Pumpkins, a mod that adds more pumpkins with special effects into the game. Firstly, now you can find dragots in dark forests, but during full moon everywhere throughout the world. These new beasts will draw pumpkin essence, crucial for making new pumpkins. Before we start infusing some pumpkins, you need the infusion table, which is a bit expensive. In the GUI of the table there's one slot for the essence, the infused block and the infusion item. Here you can see a few selection of the infused pumpkins. You can view all recipes with JI. The first pumpkin is the aquaside one. You will gain night vision underwater. With 30 essence, a calf pumpkin and 3 blaze rods, you get the pumpkin of cinders. It gives you fire resistance. With 40 essence, the floating pumpkin and a totem of the undying, you get the pumpkin of the void, with which you can fly if you hold spacebar and of course also slow falling. With the calf pumpkins and a slime ball and 10 essence, you get the Maya pumpkin, place it on a slime or honey block to get a cute little pumpkin pet. With 8 essence, TNT and a pumpkin, you get a pumpkin mine, which blows you up. Now to some more serious business. If you combine a stack of essence with the carved pumpkin and an eye of ender, you get an eye of dread needed to summon the boss. Then you combine the eye with another stack of essence and a normal pumpkin to get the dropped pumpkin. Now get two bone blocks and prepare for a fight against the pump clops. He's got 250 health and will shoot fireballs at you with his scepter, which is one of his drops. The other one is the Heart of Pump Clops, which you can use to make two new cool pumpkins. With the scepter, you can summon minions that will disoffend you. With his heart and drawing pumpkin and 40 essence, you get the pumpkin of the seas with conduct power and night vision. With the stack of essence, void and his heart, you get the pumpkin of gravity, which nearly allows you to create a flight. 27. Now to a smaller mod, Festive Creepers. Adds one new fella into the game, a Festive Creeper. During the summer, those will spawn everywhere, but during the year, only in snowy biomes. They will explode like normal creepers, but with a bit of confetti. Upon death, they drop festive gunpowder, which can be used to make firework crates, but can also be stuffed in a minecart. When it gets a redstone signal, it will shoot fireworks and then explode. 28. Now you can make a shrinking device with 6 iron and enderpearl glass and one button. Unfortunately, it needs to be charged. I'm using mechanism here, get it in the description. After it's charged, you just need to make a shift click and BAM! You are only half a block tall. You can even go on the slabs. You can still jump one block though and you are just really tiny. <laughs> After you are done, shift click it again to grow again. 29. Are you a person that loves to collect stuff? Like Pokemon cards or other stuff? Then I've got a mod for you. With body cards, you can now find packs throughout the world for Overworld, Nether and the End. They spawn as loot like in villages, Nether fortresses or End cities. With each pack, you get four different cards. The challenge here is to collect all of them. Here you can see all of the collectibles of the Overworld, the Nether and the End set. If you hover over them, there's always a funny note with every card. And maybe you have noticed that there's a normal and a shiny version of everyone. The ultimate goal is to get every card, even shiny. If you happen to accomplish that, you will get for each set a medal that you can wear with a special effect. Overworld speed, nether fire resistance, and the end resistance. 30. Are you looking for an awesome backpack mod? Then you should totally get sophisticated backpacks. Now you can craft one with 4 leather, 4 string, and a chest. Either open it with a right click, place it down with a shift click, or put it on your back and open it by using the configurable keybind. Also, you can dye your backpack to all colors you desire. Here you can see all of them. One can also upgrade his backpack to iron, gold and diamond. A comparison between normal and diamond tier. Unfortunately, these cannot be dyed. Now, maybe you have noticed these slots on the left side of your inventory? These are for upgrades. There are over 10 of them and we will talk about the most interesting ones really quickly. All of them are started as a base upgrade and you can always make an advanced version that allows more filtering. For every upgrade, there's a tab where you can modify the white and black list. 
The first ones are Pickup, which lets you pick up items in your backpack. The filter upgrade modifies items that can be pumped out of your backpack, like into a humper. Magnet will magnet items into your backpack. The upgraded version has a better range. Feeding will feed you automatically. Void deletes all white listed items. Inception allows you to insert backpacks into backpacks. See what the mod creator did there. Everlasting prevents your backpacks from uh, falling into the void or despawning. The furnace upgrade can smelt your ores into ingots. The upgraded version will do it even by itself if it has coal or the ore in the inventory. 31. How about a mod that lets your sword be more powerful with runes? Well then welcome to Rune Sword. Now you can find throughout the world 5 different runes. Fire, Earth, Air, Water and Blood. With them you can upgrade your sword to either have minor or major effects. So let's start. First we'll discuss how to get each rune. To get the fire one you need to kill blazes. Water you need and you find in shipwrecks. Earth as loot throughout the world like in mineshafts. Air dropped by phantoms. And blood runes can be dropped by any entity with a small chance. Now to upgrading. You have to make an infusion table where you can add runes to your sword. Each tier has more slots, like here in comparison wood, no slots, while diamond has nearly all of these slots unlocked. The difference between minor and major effects is how many runes of the same type you've got on your sword. Minor is when you got one, major when you have the same type in every slot. Fire. Minor can put ground on fire. Major deals more damage if enemy is on fire. Water. <laughs> minor restores breath on kill. Major, sword deals more damage underwater. Earth, minor can drop dirt upon kill. Major, the sword does more damage if you are underground. Air, minor knocks enemies up. Major, grants speed upon the kill. Blood, minor, chance to heal upon kill. Major, attack costs health, but do does more damage. 32. If you are looking for one of the best vanilla enhancing mods you can find out there that isn't also too much, I've got you covered. Supplementaries is one of the best mods that really feels like vanilla. But this mod got so big I don't want to cover all of the features. I'd rather want to do a separate video. So here's a quick showcase of what features this awesome mod adds. Lanterns have no animations if you bump into them. Signposts can be attached to fences with the right click you can write on them. To reverse them, shift click. Pedestals can display your precious items. Candelabra and even candles are now added. Time to make a fancy mansion. And the wind vane will send out a redstone signal when it's raining. It's also a cool deco. 33. Useful hats add some stylish hats into the game that even grant you special abilities. A Kunod helmet gives you 1 minute of contact power. Bunny gives you jump boost 2 and eating is twice as fast. Chopping hats chops wood 20% faster. Sneak shift with the ender helmet to set a TP position, and then throw an ender pull and you will get teleported to the safe position. With the halo no mobs will attack you, that doesn't work in the nether. With the lucky hat you will be granted luck when you hold a fishing rod or a sword, but after you fished or killed a mob you get 10 seconds of bad luck. The mining helmet makes mining with a pick 20% faster and also gives you my night vision in dark areas. While sprinting with the police hat you get speed, but also hunger. The sugar box gives you levitation. The stocking hat is a new hat only for December. The farming hat makes digging with, with a shovel or mining with a hoe 20% faster. No worries about fall damage with the wing hat, grand slow falling. And when you're hungry, you can eat your mushroom hat. 34. If you think that your old bow and crossbow are really boring, you should try switch bow. This one adds two new better variants of the old ones. These ones will search the whole inventory and the new added quivers for arrows, but the thing is that you can shift and scroll to decide which arrows you want to use. Also, there are three new enchants. Pull speed up to 3 for bows, making them faster, reduce cooldown up to 5 for crossbows, and scope for both. There's also an arrow dispenser where you can modify the angle, rate, and the count how much it fires. And this mod adds our 13 new arrows into the game. We don't have enough time to review them all, so here's a quick selection. Frost arrow places snow and freezes targets. Protector summons a mini golem for a few seconds. Knockback flings them in the air. Bouncy arrow the uh, arrow bounces like a flummy. Torch arrow places a torch when it hit the ground. Last but not least, there are special arrows that you can even make more powerful with an infusion. For that you need this structure, with 12 quartz stairs, 12 quartz pillars, 9 block of quartz, 4 magma blocks, 1 obsidian and 1 pedestal. These special arrows are Thunder, Bone, Silver, Burial, Fire, Luck, Air and Sloth. 
To infuse it, just right-click the pedestal with the specific arrow. It can even infuse the whole stack at once. Here you can see the difference with the fire and the thunder arrow. 35. I wanted to make an automated farm, but it's really hard to find the right mechanism. Then you should try out effect pads, which adds over 5 new pads into the game. They can help you make new ways of transportation or automated farms. They got jump boost pads from tier 1 to 4. They bounce you up without you pressing the spacebar. A speed pads and also of course slow pads made with soul sand. A landing pad with no full damage and cactus that will prick you. Last but not least, there's also magma pads burning you to death. 36. How about we make snow a little bit more dangerous? Snowy weaponry adds a new way of using snowballs and that in fact as weapons. Now you can craft with ore nuggets higher tier snowballs that do more damage going from iron to netherite. Diamond gives the target slowness while netherite inflicts blindness. But that's not all, there's even an explosive snowball. <laughs> Last but not least, you can now make warfers to get snow cones. You can make the golden variant for fire resistance. You make your very own effect snow cone by adding 4 snow cones with your desired potion. 37. Now to a small mod but still awesome. Betas adds only one entity into the game, the new fish Beta. But that cute little fella comes in over 100 color variants. You can tactical fish them. This mod also introduces wild moss, similar to sea pickles. Can also be turned into block. There are also dried leaves, which can be placed three times on top of each other. Both of those can be waterlogged. 38. Now to a structure modification. Shrine structures adds over 5 new structures into the game that try to make your world more alive and interesting to explore. Firstly, it adds the hot air balloon and for those there are multiple variants. Then you can find a bee sanctuary. The next one is one of my favorites, the temple, available in small and large. These beauties are a really nice addition to the game. What would you say about a nether shrine? Some you can even loot! Now to a smaller structure, the water shrine. Looks really cool. And last but not least, we've got the massive nether pyramid with a ton of crazy loot and nether monsters like soglins or magma cubes. 39. If you are into the useful hats mod, you will like more boots. This one adds over 50 new boots with special abilities into the game. Firstly, there are now new materials, quartz, ingot, metal mix, bad hide, a rainbow wool and compressed cobblestone. The spider boots lets you climb up any wall, stick to it and even get no fall damage. Quartz boots are really protective but vulnerable to fall damage. Cotton gives you speed in cold biomes. Vanishing lets you walk through blocks like ice. Skate on ice with the skaters while holding shift. Metal mix gives you invincibility for a few times. With lava boots, you can walk on water. 40. If you ever wondered why there aren't colored slimes, you can now stop wondering. Bunch of things adds all colors for slimes into the game. These can now be found as wild slimes. One can get slime balls out of them to make blocks and pistons in every color. Right now they still, uh, they still stick together, but the mod creator w is working on that. 41. This is a mod that mod pack creators will love. Treasure loot is an easy, highly customizable mod where you can get data packs with specific loot while performing an action. Well, like when you join a world for the first time, or when a player dies, or when hunting other mobs, it's as easy as that. You can add and remove any already in-game treasure bags by configuring data packs. There's a guide on the mod page how to do that. 42. If you are more into a handy mod filled with a ton of creative stuff, then you should try Assorted Tools mod. Adding stuff like hammers that insta break blocks, boomerangs in wood and diamond can activate buttons, pick up items or damage entities. There's also a chicken suit with which you can slow fall and flap several times in air. A new edge that lets you flap once in air, the chicken jump. A pokeball that lets you catch and release mobs. Multi-tools in every tier and support for every ore you will ever need. Like for example, I have mechanism installed and I can make a whole tool and armor set now. 43. Here I've got an awesome concept for you, but it needs a bit polishing. With poisonous sword mod, you can now add potion effects on your sword. I'm not kidding. Hold your desired potion effect in your left hand and your sword in the right and then press M. That keybind is configurable. And now with every hit it will deal out that potion effect. And one minute effect will be reduced to 6 seconds. My opinion it is a bit too OP, especially with instant damage too. But I think with a bit of polishing it can be really awesome. 44. 
For all Zelda fans out there, I've got an amazing mod for you. The arrow and stuff adds four elemental arrows from the Zelda game into Minecraft. You can buy them from our weaponsmith. The fire arrow lights a big place on fire, burns enemies and can smell the ice. The ice arrow turns water to ice and lava to cobble and also freezes enemies. Shock arrow sends an electric so shockwave to all entities in water, stuns enemies and can even knock their weapons out of their hands. <laughs> Just look at that pillager, he doesn't know what to do now. Last but not least, we've got bomb arrows that explode on per impact. Don't explode underwater. 45. Now to a Deco mod, and I think your building champs will love this one. Here on place 45 we got skin lantern that will make those lamps just a little bit more cooler. Now you can add custom skins over them, like Christmas, mobs or just plain unicolor. And to get one of them you just need to view the recipe with the JI. And the best part, it is compatible with supplementaries, that means all of them have animations. For every skin lantern there's also a soul fire variant. 46. Now to a first release mod that will add so many new flora into Minecraft. Bloom and Gloom has the goal to make Minecraft flora much better with custom flowers. Today uh, they only have one, but that will change quickly. Now there's Reflecius. I hope I pronounced that correctly. A flower that can be found in jungles. If broken, you can get seeds. Also, intelligent AI like villagers will try to get away from her. After planted, they have three growth stages, which can be sped up with bone meal. If you step on it or hit it with a projectile, it will release a poison cloud. After a short time, it will recover. You can also use bone meal. If you feed a suspicious soup, it can change color for one time. 47. Christmas is right around the corner, that's why I thought we should also have a Christmas deco mod in here. Christmas festivity adds so many cool items from stockings, snowmans, Christmas trees, new redstone lamps, lights to new colored blocks, gigantic candy blocks or just really cool food items. I don't think I should explain anything, so let's just admire the view. 48. Now to a mod you will love. The Mario Raptor adds a new hostile reptile into your world. It spawns in various biomes and will hunt everything it sees, like animals or even players. If you drop some meat on the ground for him, he will be neutral for a while and it will even let you ride him. 49. Are you a rabbit fan? Are you sad that you cannot tame those fluffy animals? Well now you can with the rabbit tamer. Your dream can be true. Just feed it weed and it will be yours. With the right click you can decide between stay or follow. And with the sneak click you can even put it on your head. 50. Last but not least, I've got a Streep Capitator mod for you that changes the whole gameplay. Now if you break a lock, you don't break it fully. And you need to get through layers and then the whole tree will fall. Pretty cool, right? So that was today's video. This is really long, so um, if you ended up enjoying it, then maybe even then maybe leave a like or even consider to subscribe to my channel. Because I do a lot of these kinds of videos and also funny edited stuff. So maybe check out my latest uploads. Now I would say we'll see us in the next video. Ciao!